Hello everyone, hey RG back with some more Franchise Hockey Manager 9 and today we have some more Hartford Raiders action as the calendar flips to January, we are now in 1984 uh, we had a very outstanding month of December where we lost a whopping one game in the entire month which helped uh, propel us to first in the conference with a very good 25 10 and 1 record <clears throat> today is saturday the uh, april 22nd and the playoffs are underway in real life and there's a lot of very 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 discutable disputable uh calls being made in all of their various series feels like it's even more than usual which is saying a lot and i don't know how i feel about that feels like there's some fan bases that are probably very upset and i get it but anyway so we're not really upset with what's going on in you know fake past hockey here with the waiters we're doing pretty good actually so i did take a peek took a quick peek before i fired this up and i went and checked and i was like maybe maybe if mike bossy is still on the block maybe i'm gonna try and do something to get mike bossy with the waiters that would be pretty cool uh, but he's not uh him and larry robinson have both been pulled off the trading block so there's no well, I guess you can still trade for them, but the, their teams have not decided to keep them as available, so... That is not something that I'm going to pursue, that's something that I was hesitant to pursue anyway, but I, I was like, well, ah, maybe I can... Maybe I can just, you know, try a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, no, the, the, the best player available is Brad Marsh. No, it's not, you know, 1992 uh, or 1991 Brad Marsh uh, on his last leg playing for the Suns. It is a 25-year-old Brad Marsh, but he's kind of a more of a defensive defenseman, and I don't quite need him at this time. So we're just going to go ahead and play January as if you know no great players had been put on the block and we're just gonna move on all right so we have two days off to start the month and then we'll be in detroit to play against the red wings <clears throat> all right let's get underway Right, Morris Lukowicz lights the lamp. He had a hat trick, three goals against the Flames. All right, and let's see how our owner feels about us. Pleasantly surprised. Try to keep a balance. We should be a contender next year. Fans are thrilled. No need to worry about your job. He says the same thing every month. Right, so Darren Lowe has been put on waivers by the Oilers, and those players here are feeling more acclimated to the team. And we are now in Detroit at the Joey Arena to play against the Red Wings. Uh, Red Wings are 19, 16, and 3, so that's a okay start to the season for them. Well, I, I say start, we're pretty much in the middle of the season-ish right now, right about. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at their lineup. We have not played them this season. Hey, Kel, yeah. I had, we, had a, we had a long day today and everything, and there's not a whole lot going on tonight uh, at the house and everything. So I uh, just decided to do a late night Saturday stream, a very rare occurrence for me. Uh, usually there's like you know senza key and stuff like that so it just doesn't really happen but I decided to do it today all right so the Red Wings have Dave Anson on the injured reserve oh nice was was that your last shift I know you're you're about to move and you have to quit your quit your job 
Oh, yeah. I could have watched that too, but uh, we decided to watch a movie instead. All right, so Al Jensen and Reggie Lemley in it. And then on D, they have Gibbs, Cornhouse, Lee Burroughs, Yidor, Uber, Larson, and O'Callaghan. And up front, they have Laurie Bashman, Pete Maovlich, John O'Grad, Nick Thompson, Woods, Fergus, Tarek McCourt, Doug Gilmore, Mike Falino, Yari Curry, LeBratton, and Sawkins. So. Eh. I don't really like their D, but uh, they have an interesting corp uh, of fours. Ah, gotcha. All right. Well, I wish you the best to find a job that you're gonna like as much. That's uh, it, it's very nice when you can like your job. I was actually t talking about your situation with my girlfriend and everything about how, you know, it's your first job and you really like it and everything and now you have to move and then, you know, who knows what you're going to be able to find and whatnot. So I was talking about that. All right. First game of the month of January. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for us. Al Jensen is going to be in net for the Red Wings. And of course, go waiters, go. <laughs> what a start to the month. A 10 nothing win on the road. I like it. I like it a lot. We outshot Detroit 45 to 12. That's also part of why I didn't want to make really a move because I've been getting those lopsided like shot counts. And that's usually a good sign that your team is doing really good. All right, so the first star of the game was Glenn Anderson with two goals and two assists. Anton Stashin was the second star with a goal and three assists. And Dave Poulin was the third star with a goal and two assists. We scored five goals in the first period. Glenn Anderson scored his 10th from Mark Messi and Peter Stashny, then Rob Ramage with Dave Poulin and Anton Stashny, Gordy Roberts with Dave Poulin and Wilf Payment. Dave Poulin from Glenn Anderson and Anton Stashny, and then Bo Berglund scored his 10th from Paul Coffey and Matty Hagman, 5 nothing after 1. And in the second period, we scored 5 more goals. Anton Stashny from Rob Ramage and Jay Wells, Peter Stashny from Greg Teberge and Glenn Anderson, Glenn Anderson from Peter Stashny and Mark Messier, Paul Coffey scored from Gordy Roberts and Anton Stashny, and then Matty Hagman from Marion Stashny and Brent Sutter, 10 nothing after 2. Uh, if you're the coach for Detroit, what do you say after the second period? Guys, we need a strong 20 minutes in the third period. Who knows what can happen? Maybe we can take this game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you say when it's 10 nothing after 2. All right, there was a fight between Mike Foligno and Paul Coffey. And then in the third period, Woody Huber and Paul Coffey. And then Barry Gibbs and Jay Wells. So how's the game between the Devils and the Rangers? I kind of wanted to watch the game. Like I said, we went for a movie. We decided to watch a movie instead. All right, Gord Lane, Lauren Stamler, Bill Nyrup, and Bruce Affleck have been all put on waivers. Oh, that's good. The Devils are back in this series. I do have the Rangers passing them in the first round only because they have a more veteran corp than the Devils. But I, I, I kind of like that the Devils are that young, talented team that, you know, can score goals and everything. I kind of like that. Also, I've always liked Lindy Ruff as a coach. I thought that he did really good when he was in Buffalo. Buffalo didn't always have like those super power teams or anything like that, but they were always competitive with Lindy Ruff. I think he's a pretty good coach. All right, so Peter Stashny extended his goal streak to five games uh, with a goal and two assists in the game against the Red Wings. Wayne Gretzky had a good game. He had four assists against the Flames. That was 13 straight games with a point for him. There was no stopping Hack and Lube in that same game. He had three goals and an assist. Uh, Joe Micheletti is hurt in St. Louis. He's going to miss four months. Ouch. Oh, there's been a trade here between the Islanders and the Montreal Canadiens. Regent Hull for Paul Garner. 
Then Montreal is offering us Paul Lawless for Craig Lachlan. He might be able to develop. He's what, 20? 19. Huh. And he did play for the Hartford Wearers in real life. I think I'm going to make the trade. Craig Lachlan just never quite made it for us. I had some hope that maybe he would. I'm making the trade. Paul Lawless. I like to get players that did play for the Whalers in real life where possible. Right, so we're just going to send him to the Miners for now. He's too young. All right, we have a day off and then we are going to be hosting the New York Islanders. When Gretzky extends his point streak to 14 games, he had two assists against the Minnesota North Stars. Yeah, Al McNeil has been fired as a coach for the Kings. The Kings with their 5-34 and 2 record. So, who's the coach now? Floyd Smith is now the coach for the Kings. Brian Mullen has a great game for the Kings. He had a hat trick against the Canucks. Then a trade between the Oilers and the Islanders. It looks like the Oilers and Islanders trade players a lot in the save. Bruce Holloway and the rights to Bob Parent for Bruce Boudreau. All right, and now the Islanders are in town. They are 21, 14, and 5. That's good for second in the conference. We hold the first spot. We are 1 0 against the Islanders. It was a 5 2 win in Union Dale. Let's see if we can beat them again. That would be most marvelous. Billy Smith in net for the Islanders. Jim Martinson in net for the Waiters. Go, Waiters, go. Come on. A 2-1 victory. All right, so a tight affair. They're not a not an offensive juggernaut like the game in Detroit, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, it was pretty even game. Uh, we outshot the Islanders 28 to 27. Gordy Roberts was the first star of the game. He had a goal. Clark Gillies was the second star with a goal. And Dave Poulin was the third star with an assist. 9,148 people in attendance for the game. Oh, you're fine. I was just probably spreading out words. <laughs> All right, so nobody scored in the first period. Then in the second period, Brent Sutter scored from Randy Kennyworth and Bo Berglund, and then Gordy Roberts from Russ Fitzpatrick and Dave Fulham made it 2-0. The Islanders did score. It was 2-1, Waiters after 2, and that, that was the score for the rest of the game. We did have a fight. Mark Messi and Joel Otto fought in the third period. Ooh, Wilf Payment and Anton Stashny got hurt in that game. So that's two, <laughs> two out of three players on my second line. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Anton Stashny has a broken matty bone in his wrist. Like his duration, two to three months. Do I want him to play with that injury? Yikes. Two to three months is a long time. You're going to play with with the pain. It's the 80s. All right, and with payment is day-to-day. -day. All right, so let's see here. All right, so with payment cannot play with what? What does he have? He has a chest bruise. Cannot play. Anton Stashny has a broken bone in his wrist, and he's going to play. Right, General Grodnick has a great game. He had four goals against Montreal. And Darren Veitch is almost back. So are you older than your sister or is she older? Uh, Dennis Auchar has been put on waivers. Darren Veitch is almost back. And Mark Tar Tardzi. The F is silent. 
Uh, Mark Tardy has been put on the trading block by the Quebec Nordics. All right, so we are in Edmonton. So it looks like we have a little bit of a Western trip going here. Um, that starts in Edmonton. Edmonton is really good. In fact, they have almost the exact same record as us. They are 27, 10 and four. Uh, we have not played Edmonton this season. So let's take a look at their team. Ooh, it's about to be your birthday. You're gonna be uh, 19, right? Did I get that right? Right, so Edmonton is pretty healthy. They, they do have Barry Long that's injured. He may or may not play, but uh, awesome. Awesome. Do you have anything planned for your birthday other than, you know, being in the middle of moving? <laughs> right, so Al Smith and Greg Stefan in net for the art. Well, both of them uh, came from me. Uh, Mark Au also came from us. Charlie Adé, Langevin, uh, Kevin Loclax and Long, Price and Sultan and Andy. Up front, they have Kelligan, Gavin, Hunter, Smith, Carlson, Wayne Gretzky. Wire, Boudreau, Sutter, Keller, Akinlu, McDonald, and Nystrom. So, of course, Wayne Gretzky is the main attraction here. Wow, with a good game, he could hit 100 points on January 7th. Hopefully, he doesn't have a good game. Hey, that's okay, man. I never take off for my birthday either. Not worth it. It's a little overrated. All right, Jim Martinson is going to be in net for us. Greg Stefan is going to be in net for the others. Come on, Waiters, give me a W. A 4 2 win in Edmonton. So, one thing's for sure Gretzky didn't get four, five points against us. We are chat Edmonton 41 31. Gordy Roberts was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Wire was the second star with an assist. And Bo Berglund was the third star with a goal and an assist. Randy Connyworth opened up the scoring in the first from Brent Sutter and Brettel. It was 1-0 Hartford after one. And in the second period, Edmonton scored, tied the game at one. And then in the third period, Anton Stashny scored his 20th from Marian Stashny and Ray Newfeld. Then Peter Stashny from Gordy Roberts and Bo Berglund made it 3-1. Gretzky made it 3-2 with five minutes to go, but Bo Berglund scored in an empty net for, with nine seconds left from Dave Poulin and Gordy Roberts, and we had a 4-2 victory. So what did you ask for for your birthday? What's, uh, what's Kale wanting? Does he want a Matthew Kitschuk uh, autographed jersey? Is that what you asked for? Wayne Gretzky reaches 600 points in his career against us with a, with that goal. Gretzky is 22 years old and he already has 600 points. He's obviously a five-star player. Wayne Gretzky sends his points three to 15 games against uh, us with that goal. A night to remember for Matt Naslund with the Montreal Canadiens. He had three goals and two assists against the Blues. Brian Propp extends his points three to 12 games with a goal against the Leafs. Oh, and Mark Messi is day to day. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, Messi can play Earth. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. All right, and now we are in Winnipeg to play against the Jets. Uh, the Jets are 12, 25, and 3 this season. Not go doing too good in Winnipeg. In fact, Winnipeg has not been doing good since I... Uh, started the save we are 1-0 against the Jets a 7-2 victory over them let's see if we can beat them again oh dang do your parents still get you something though or like is it just like oh I guess he doesn't want gifts so you know no gifts from all right so Steve Weeks is going to be in net for us. Grand Fuhrer is going to be in net for the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, 
I figured as much. So, see that I'm kind of the same way. I usually don't ask for anything, and we lost, by the way. Wow, our first loss in January here. First loss of 1984, obviously. Uh, five four loss here in Winnipeg. I also don't like to ask for like I like to be like surprised, but apparently that that makes me somebody that's uh, impossible to shop for. So. All right, so we outshot twenty peg forty three to thirty. Now eating out. Now that's that's my jam as well. Like a nice restaurant or something. Like some place that you don't go often. That's that's nice. I, I do like that. All right, so despite outshooting them forty three to thirty, we lost five four. Dave Christian was the first of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Mark Messi played injured and still managed to get two assists and the second star. And then Maurice Lukowicz was the third star with a goal and an assist. Jet scored twice in the first period. Then we scored three goals. Russ Fitzpatrick scored his tenth from Gordy Roberts and Ray Newfeld. Glenn Anderson from Mark Messi and Gordy Roberts, and then Glenn Anderson again from Jay Wells and Mark Messi. Three two hard for it after one. Looked like we were gonna win another game then in the second period the Jets tied a game it was tied at three then they took the lead at the start of the third and we tied the game it was Brent Sutter from J Wells but uh, with 328 left to go in the third period Greg Adams gave the lead to Winnipeg and we never tied the game back we lost by 1-5-4 we had a fight between Mario Marois and Marc Messier So what kind of cuisine do you like uh, the most? And Marc Messier uh, got injured further. Oh dear God, another one of those. A severe cut to the ear. Yeah, you're gonna play injured. You're Marc Messier. You're like a tank. Yikes, I have two players playing injured that, that I delayed the treatments. I don't know if it's gonna come back to bite me uh, in the elbow, but all right, we have a day off before we are in Minnesota. Rick Martin has produced 500 goals in his career. He had a hat trick against uh, the Montreal Canadiens. Rick Martin is 32 years old and he is a three and a half star player. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's nice. All right, so as we saw, he had a hat-trick, memorable night for Mike Eves. He had four assists against the Rangers. John Anderson extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against the Blues, and Wilf Payment is already starting to feel better. I do like to try new foods as well. There's very few things that I will not eat, so... Um... I cook a lot. I, I do most of the cooking here. Uh, I like to cook different things. I also don't necessarily have a favorite food. Um, and like I was saying, there's very few things that I won't eat. Uh, one of them being I really do not like avocados. So, you know, guacamole and all of that crap, it's like no bueno, no thank you. Uh, I'm also allergic to shrimp, so I usually try to not eat seafood because of that. That's that sucks. I, I like seafood, but you know, I also like being alive and breathing, so I usually don't eat seafood. When Gretzky extends his point streak to 16 games, he had an assist against the Red Wings. Uh, with payment almost back, and Darren Reich almost back as well. And we are playing in Minnesota uh, against the North Stars. Yeah, avocado is very overrated. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right, so North Stars are 25, 11, and 5. Uh, we are 0-1-1 one one against Minnesota this season, so we have not beaten them. Yeah, I, can, I just can't do it. I, I can't do it. 
Another thing I don't like is asparagus. I also do not like asparagus. Other than that, I think I pretty much like anything else. All right. Even Brussels sprouts. I, I do like me some Brussels sprouts. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for the Whalers. Andy Moog uh, being in Minnesota is going to be the starter there today. Go Whalers, go. <laughs> We won 12 to 2. There you go. Here's the I obtain offense. Uh, we outshot Minnesota 43 to 25. Glenn Anderson was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Paul Coffey was the second star with two goals and two assists. And Peter Stashney was the third star with a goal and three assists. Paul Coffey opened up the scoring in the first, a power play goal from Gordy Roberts and Matty Agman. Then Wolf Payment scored from Peter Stashney and Jay Wells. Then Minnesota scored, and then Glenn Anderson scored twice. Uh, first one from Jay Wells and Peter Stashney, and the other one is 15th of the season from Mark Messier. And it was a 4-1 victory, uh, not victory, 4-1 lead for the Whalers after one. Uh, I did, not that I wanted to, but he was starting to decline in ability and everything, and Steve Weeks was a little bit better. So I picked up Steve Weeks in the waiver draft and John Garrett I tried to send John Garrett down but he was claimed off waivers I think by the devils I believe all right so 4-1 Hartford after one then in the second period we scored six unanswered goals Paul Coffey from Gordy Roberts and Brett Hall Matty Agman scored his 15th on the power play from Russ Fitzpatrick and Paul Coffey then Marianne Stashny from Paul Coffey and Gordy Roberts. Glenn Anderson from Randy Cunningworth and Greg Deberge. Mark Messi scored his 20th from Peter Stashny and Rob Ramage. Then Matty Agman from Dave Pune and Jay Wells. It was 10-1 after two. Then in the third period, Peter Stashny scored from Mark Messi and Glenn Anderson. Then Dave Pune scored his 20th from Bo Berglund and Matty Agman. It was 12-1. And then Minnesota scored. It was 12-2. What a massacre in Minnesota. And Gordy Roberts is hurt. I cannot have good things. He's day to day. We should be good. Oh, Darren Veitch is completely recovered too. All right, so day to day for Gordy Roberts. There was no stopping Glenn Anderson as we saw three goals and an assist. Uh, Charlie Simmer was suspended in New Jersey. He's going to miss four games. Brian Prop's point streak ended at 12 games. It was held scoreless against Pittsburgh. And Darren Veitch is back. He has barely played this season. All right. Uh, Tommy Samuelson is the one that's going to go down. Veitch. Go. All right, we have two days off, and then we're going to be playing in Calgary against the Flames. Looks like the Flames are not doing too hot. When Gretzky extends his point streak to 17 games, he had two goals and an assist against the Blackhawks. Kent Nilsson extends his point streak to 12 games. He had, an, uh, he had a goal sorry, against the Jets. Al Secker has a great game. He had a hat-trick against the Red Wings. There was no stopping Mike Gartner, who also had a hat-trick that was against the Kings. Uh, Blaine Stockton is suspended in Montreal. He's going to miss five games. Then John Anderson extends his goal streak to six games with a goal and two assists against Montreal in that same game. All right, another day off, and then we are going to be in Calgary. <clears throat> John Anderson extends his goal streak to seven games with a goal against the Minnesota North Stars. And Ron Duguay extends his assist streak to eight games with an assist against the Flyers. So do you just like to watch other series uh, that are going on aside of just the Panthers? Is that why you're watching the Rangers and Devils? All right, Calgary 
Um, let's see. Calgary is 10, 27, and 5. That's not very good. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. Sometimes I watch a series just to cheer against you know, a particular team, like when I'm watching Tampa Bay Toronto, I'm cheering for Tampa Bay because I don't want for Toronto to win. Sadly, I didn't get my, my wish tonight. All right, Calgary. Oh, quite a few injuries here. Joe Cirilla is hurt, not gonna play. Paul Baxter is hurt, not gonna play. And Grant Ledyard is hurt, not gonna play. That's three Ds that are out. All right, so Dan Bouchard and Richard Brodog and Ned Brad Marsh, Dick Redman, Reinhardt, Boutillier, Baudouin, Lanz, Andy, and then up front they have McAdam, Rota Schott, Vale, Gagne, Bolderev, Lalonde, McTavish, Nielsen, Cullen, Anderson, Blaisdell, Houston, McMillan, and Piplinski. Yeah, I don't have access to everything. Like, uh, like ESPN has really cut on the amount of games that I could watch. So, like today, the only game that was available to watch was the Rangers and Devils. So that kind of sucks. Oh yeah, Seattle has been good, and there's like a. There's a huge Colorado fanboy on Twitter that uh, that's very annoying. That was like basically saying that Colorado would win that with a uh, hand tied behind their back and everything. And uh, I wonder how this guy is doing right now because this team is struggling to beat Seattle, and that makes me happy in a way. I'm always bitter about Colorado because the you know that that was that used to be the Nordiques, right? So that I'm always bitter about the the avalanche for that. Right, Jim Martinson is going to be a net for the Waiters, Dan Bouchard a net for the Flames, and go Waiters go, and we lost seven four. I was too late to cheer on my team, and that's what I get a seven four against the Flames, a seven four loss against the Flames. They outshot us 39 to 37 in that one. Blaisdell was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Kent Nilsson was the second star with a goal and an assist. And McAdam was the third star with a goal and two assists. Flames scored twice in the first. Then Matty Agman scored on the power play from Paul Coffey and Peter Stashny. Then Glenn Anderson scored on the power play as well from Jay Wells and Randy Canneworth. 2-2 after one. In the second, the Flames scored twice, then Mark Messi scored from Rob Ramage and Brent Sutter. It was 4-3 Calgary, then Calgary made it 5-3. Then we had a bunch of fights. Ken Houston against Paul Coffey, Jim Piplinski against Rob Ramage, and then Paul Reinhardt against Anton Stashny. Then in the third period, Brettel brought us to within one from Ken Morrow and Brent Sutter, but then the Flames added two goals and it was a 7-4 loss in Calgary. Oh, Paul Coffey is hurt now. Oh dear. F <clears throat> Paul Coffey is one of my favorite player ever. I was able to make a trade to get him in this fucking game. As him injured all the time. He's out for six months. We're not gonna have Paul Coffey for the playoffs. Kent Nilsson extends his point streak to 13 games. He had a goal and an assist against us. Wayne Gretzky extends his point streak to 18 games with two goals and two assists against the Buffalo Sabres. Vancouver's Lindgren is injured. Uh, Lars Lindgren is out for five months. Uh, Troy Murray is suspended in Winnipeg. He's going to miss three games. A strong game for Maurice Lukowicz. He had a hat trick against the Kings. Will Buffalo move Jimmy Hislop? He's been put on the block. And Edmonton wants to trade us a Scott McClellan for Stuart Smith. Oh, this is frustrating. So 
So I guess it didn't take very long for Tommy Samuelson to come back at the NHL level. All right, we had the day off. Let's see here, great night for Weedy Plett. He had four assists against Pittsburgh. Danny Gare keeps fans on their feet all night. He had three goals and two assists against the Red Wings. Strong night for John O'Gronick. He had four assists in that same game. Ron Duguay extends his assist rate to nine games with two assists against the Islanders. John Anderson extends his goal streak to eight games with a goal and an assist against the Blackhawks. And Barry Long might retire at the end of the season. He plays in Edmonton. All right, we are in Vancouver to play the Canucks. Canucks are 26, 15, and 4. We are 0 and 2 against the Canucks this season. Look at that list of injuries. This is like. This is a first line for and a first pair of D for most of the teams in that league. Like if you have Mark Macy playing his natural position of center, first line of Mark Macy with Wolf Payment and Anton Stashny is not bad at all. And then Paul Coffey and Gordy Roberts on the back end. That's, you know, pretty much top for most of the teams in the league. All right. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for the Waiters. Jim Craig is going to be in net for the Canucks. Go Waiters, go. A 5-1 victory despite all of the injuries. We outshot Vancouver 34-24. Brent Sutter was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Darren Veitch was the second star with an assist. And Greg Teberge was the third star with two assists. Randy Kennyworth opened up the scoring in the first period. From Peter Stashny and Marion Stashny. Then Peter Stashny scored his 30th on the power play from Matty Agman and Greg Teberge. Then Rob Ramage from Brettel and Anton Stashny. 3 0 the lead for the Whalers after one. There was a fight between Bob Daly and Ken Morrow. Then in the second period, Brent Sutter scored from Anton Stashny and Darren Veitch. It was 4 0. Then Vancouver scored 4 1 after two. We had a fight between Harold Schnepps and Rob Ramage. And then in the third period, Russ Fitzpatrick scored from Greg Tebelge and Brent Sutter. It was a 5-1 victory for the Warriors. Ooh, oh, now Glenn Anderson is hurt. Why, why, why not? Let me go in commissioner mode and break Peter Stashny's legs while we're at it. Thanks, day to day. I'm gonna need to take a look. I'm so, I have so many injuries. I, I don't even know if I can have a full lineup. Glenn, Glenn Anderson is day to day with the hand contusion. Kent Nielsen extends his point three to fourteen games. He had two goals and an assist against the Washington Capitals. Wayne Gretzky extends his point three to nineteen games with an assist against the Devils. Oh, Ken Allen has been bought back by the orders so i let ken allen go all right we have a day off and then we're going to be hosting the devils and i'm going to take a look at that uh, ludicrous uh, situation on my in my lineup anders edberg is sidelined with the rangers He's going to miss six months. Ron Duguay extends his assist rate to 10 games with an assist against the Red Wings. Gordy Roberts should be back soon. Let's take a look here. All right. Oof, that's a lot of injured players. All right, so, okay, okay. Glenn Anderson can't play. You can come in. I think we're good. All right, so New Jersey Devils are... Sorry. 
Uh, Devils are 2021 and four. That's good for sixth in the conference. We are one and zero against the Devils this season. We are back home after a long trip. Let's see if we can win. They say that the first game back home is kind of a trap game after a long trip because you're, you're happy to be home and everything. So usually that there's like kind of a you kind of let go a little bit in the first game is what they say. I mean, I don't know. I never played in the NHL, so who knows? Wayne Stevenson is going to be in net for the Devils. Jim Martinson in net for us. Go Wetters, go. And we won 6-2, so we didn't uh, we didn't uh, have a, a loss. All right, so we outshot the Devils 36-30. Matty Agman was the first out of the game. He had a goal in an assist. Randy Cunningworth was the second start with a goal, and Gordy Roberts was the third start with a goal as well. 10,172 people missed the waiters and came to the game today. Where, uh, sorry, Devils scored first in the first period, then Brettel scored from Dave Poulain and Anton Stashny, then Darren Veitch from Bo Berglund and Matty Agman. We had a 2-1 lead after one. We scored three unanswered goals in the second period. Matty Agman from Peter Stashley and Darren Veitch. Wolf Payment from Ray Newfeld and Russ Fitzpatrick. Then Randy Kennyworth from Tommy Samuelson and Rob Ramage. 5 1 the score after two. There was a fight between Randy Kennyworth and Les Auger. Then in the third period, Gordy Roberts scored on a power play from Brettel and Russ Fitzpatrick. It was 6 1. Devils scored, made it 6 2. That was the end of the game. A nice little victory at home. Okay. All right, so Charlie Simmer is back from suspension for the Devils. He didn't play that game. No one could stop Ian Turnbull with the, the the Flyers. He had three goals and an assist against the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Kent Nilsson is hurt, listed day-to-day -day by the Flames. Uh, his point streak ended at 14 games against the Blues. With payment is completely recovered. Gordy Roberts is almost completely recovered. We have another day off, and then we are going going to play at home against Montreal. When Gretzky's point streak ended at 19 games, it was held scoreless against the Vancouver Canucks. Now, Vancouver Canucks is the team that Gretzky scored the most points against in his career in real life. Gilbert Peyreau played uh, in 1,000 games in his career. Gilbert Peyreau did not get a point to celebrate that, and that was against the Kings. Peyreau is 33 years old, and he is still a four-star player. Ron Duguay's assist streak ended at 10 games, no points against the Blues. Troy Murray is back from suspension uh, with the Jets. John Anderson extends his goal streak to nine games with a goal against the North Stars. And Gordy Roberts says, put me in. All right, so another one comes back. But the main one that I like, that I want in my lineup, Paul Coffey is hurt yet again. Right, Montreal in town, they are 19, 21, and 6. That's good for 7th in the conference. We are 2-2 two and two against the Abs this season. Excuse me. And let's see if we can beat them this time. Pat Regan in net for Montreal. Jim Martinson in net for the Waiters. We need a Whaley W. And we didn't get it. We lost 3-1. Despite outshooting Montreal 55 to 24, yikes! Uh, Aaron Broughton was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Peter Stashny was the second star with an assist, and Patrick in had the W in 54 saves. That gives him the third star today. 9,368 people in attendance for the game. Montreal scored first in the first period. They were up 1-0, then they made it 2-0 in the second period. And then Rob Ramage scored from Peter Stashny, made it 2-1 Montreal. Montreal added a goal in the third period. A very boring 3-1 loss, uh, loss sorry, against the Habs. Uh, 
All right, so Glenn Anderson should be coming back soon. All right, we have a day off. Oh, wait, we have another injury. Can't... Uh... Okay, Fitzpatrick is day-to-day -day with a sore groin. Now, let's see. He cannot play. Anderson can play. Sashni can play. Oof. This is starting to be a... This is messy. I don't like it. All right, Mike Gartner extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against the Chicago Blackhawks. Dennis Marouk extends his assist streak to... Yeah, uh, you, you missed my rant about it too, I suppose. <laughs> You're fine. But I had a rant about it because I, I traded for one of my favorite players ever. Paul Coffey was one of my favorite players when I was a kid and everything. Managed to trade for him and the game always injures him for long periods of time. Was the same thing last season. Paul Coffey was out most of the season. Uh, all right, so eight uh, game with an assist for Maruk with an assist against the Blackhawks. Glenn Anderson feeling better. Uh, Anne Lemieux. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, Per Olaf Brassar from the Nordiques has been put on the block. All right, is that a stat that we can look that, that we can look at? Let's see. I think it's a, a hidden stat. Oh no, that's true. We can look at uh, where is it? We can look at the at, at this ear and try to figure out which one is which. Now he's uh, durable and normal. All right, Boston is in town. Uh, they are 18, 26, and three. That's good for ninth in the conference. So they have moved up from the last place, uh, which is now owned by Pittsburgh. Uh, they, Pittsburgh did a little bit better at the start of the season, and now they're back to where they've always been. Yeah, it seems like like it. It's it's very disappointing. All right, so we are 3-0-1 against Boston this season. Let's beat them one more time. Pelly Lindbergh in net for Boston. Jim Martinson in net for us. Go Waiters, go. And we won 7-3. We outshot Boston 43-25. Peter Stashny was the first star of the game. Three goals and an assist. Wolf Payment was the second star with four assists. And Randy Kennyward was the third star with two goals and an assist. 10,033 people in uh, the stands for this game. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's not, Ellie is far worse than Pittsburgh in, my, uh, in this season. Like at the start, at the start of the stream, they fired their coach, and at that point, they had five wins and thirty-four losses. All right, so Peter Stashny opened up the scoring in the first from with payment and Matty Agman, then Randy Cunningham from with payment and Greg Teberge. It was two nothing Hartford, then Boston scored. It was two one Hartford after one. We had a fight between Rob Ramage and Willie Plett, and then a fight between Glenn Anderson and Terry O'Reilly, and then Ken Morrow and Mike Milbury also face punched each other. In the second period, Peter Stashny scored from Matty Agman and Darren Veitch, 3-1 Hartford, then Boston scored, then we got a two-goal lead, two lead back, Darren Veitch from Randy Cunningworth and Rob Ramage, then Boston cut the lead again it, uh, with another goal, it was 4-3 Hartford after two, we scored three goals in the third period, Peter Stashny from Wolf Payment and Ken Morrow, Matty Agman from Peter Stashny and Wolf Payment, and finally Randy Cunningworth scored his 10th from Bo Berglund and Tommy Samuelson. It was a 7-3 victory. We had another fight between Rob Ramage and Terry O'Reilly. And Ken Morrow is hurt. Oh, it's uh, 
it's the roulette here. After every game, somebody gets hurt, and then we get to spin the wheel to see who it's gonna be. All right, Ken Morrow is day to day. I have a few days off. We'll figure it out after that. Good night for Wilf Payment. As we saw, he had four assists against Boston. Strong game for Al Secker against us. He had a hat trick. No one could stop Peter Stashny in that, in that same game. Three goals and an assist. Uh, Blaine Stockton is back from suspension in Montreal. Rick McLeish has produced 500 assists in his career. Uh, with an assist against the the Islanders, Rick McLeish is 34 years old and he is a two and a half star player. Mike Gartner extends his goal streak to six games with a goal against uh, Pittsburgh, and Dennis Marouk extends his assist streak to nine games in that same game with two assists. Um, uh, I think there's something for prevent. Hmm, I don't know. All I know is that he's maxed out. He's 20. No, I don't think that there's a way to look at that. I know that in the baseball game it does. It tells you like uh, if he's good to uh, prevent leg injuries or stuff like that. But I don't think that it does in the hockey game. Okay, let's let's advance that and I'll I'll figure out all of those injuries. Uh, Glenn Anderson is completely recovered. That's good. And then and yet another trade between the Oilers and the Islanders. I think that's like the third one this month alone. Derek Smith for Martin Lindsay. Yeah, trainer skills at 20. 20 out of 20. Strong game for Al Seckard. He had a hat trick uh, against the Buffalo Sabres. That's two hat tricks in a row for Al Seckard. Russ Fitzpatrick is feeling better. All right, so Morrow cannot play, but Gordy Roberts can, so we're good and we're good here too. All right. Now we are in Montreal to play against the Abs. They just beat us a few games ago. They are now 21, 21 and six. That's good for sixth in the conference. We are now, we slid to two and three against them with that loss we just had against them. Jim Martinson is in net for Hartford. Bob Sauvé in net for Montreal. Go waiters, go. And we lost 4-2. All right, so a little, we're struggling a little bit more this month than we did in December. We're still having a good month, but we've lost a few more games. And of course, we're battling injuries with that. And I mean, we can be the Toronto Maple Leaf fans and we can blame the referees as well, right? So maybe it's the referees' fault that we're losing there. I said it. Right, Artford outshot Montreal 45 to 29. Blaine Stockton was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Randy Kennyworth was the second star with a goal. And Bob Sovey was the third star with 43 saves. That's the second game in a row against Montreal that the goaltender for Montreal steals the show. Right, so Randy Kennyworth opened up the scoring in the first that was unassisted. And then Montreal scored twice. 2 1 Montreal after one. Montreal made it 3-1 in the second period. Then Dave Poulin scored from Gordy Roberts and Glenn Anderson. It was 3-2 Montreal after two. We had a fight between Brian Englum and Rob Ramage. And then Montreal added another goal in the third period. Another fight between Ron Chipperfield and Jay Wells. All right, we have a day off and then we're gonna be back home to play against the Jets. Gary Lupul has been put on waivers by the Canucks. 
Mike Gartner extends his goal streak to seven games. He had two goals against the Sabres. Dennis Marouk extends his assist streak to ten games. He had two assists against the Sabres. Bob Murray extends his goal streak to five games with a goal and an assist in that same game. Denis Savard has a memorable game, four assists against the Flames. No one could stop Ron Duguay, three goals and an assist against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Red Light stays on for Akan Lube, three goals and an assist against the Canucks. Russ Fitzpatrick feels better, Ken Morrow feels better, that is beautiful. All right, Winnipeg is in town. They are now 19, 26, and four. We are one and one against the Jets. We did lose earlier in the stream, 5-4 in Winnipeg. Now let's win this one. Pierre Amel in net for the Jets. Jim Martinson in net for us. Go waiters, go. Seven nothing win, there you go. We outshot the Jets 42 to 17. Gordy Roberts was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Brent Sutter was the second star with two goals. Tommy Samuelson was the third star with two assists. 9,678 people in attendance for the game. Peter Stashny opened up the scoring in the first from Matty Agman and Darren Veitch. Then Brent Sutter scored his 20th of the season from Gordy Roberts and Jay Wells. Then Ray Newfeld from Brettel and Marian Stashny. And then Greg Tabers scored short-handed from Glenn Anderson and Wilf Payment. It was 4 0 Hartford after one. Oh, Matty Agman get, got a five minute major here. He might get suspended. Uh, Matty Agman scored in the second period, that was his 20th of the season, from Peter Stashy and Tommy Samuelson, then Brent Sutter from Gordy Roberts and Tommy Samuelson, then finally Bo Berglund from Dave Poulin made it 7 0. Nobody scored in the third period, and that's the end of the game, and my 7 0 win at home. Right, Renewfeld is feeling better at center now. Right, Russ Fitzpatrick is completely recovered. That's good. He's, he's been all right this year. We have a day off, and then we're going to be in Quebec to, uh, for yet another home and home against the Nordiques. I think that's the second or third one. That That's the second. That Maybe not. I don't remember. One for sure. Suspension for Bellows, uh, Buffalo's Danny Gare. He had a five-game suspension. No one could stop Gilbert Perrault in that same game. Three goals and two assists against the Red Wings. Gretzky is day-to-day. -day. Denis Savard extends his assist rate to eight games. He had an assist in that same game against Edmonton. Denis Marouk extends his assist rate to 11 games with two assists against the Leafs. Ryan Walter extends his assist rate to eight games. He had an assist against the Maple Leafs. Ken Morrow is almost recovered. Oh, and Blaine Stockton has been put on the block by the Montreal Canadiens. Traded from Hartford to LA to Montreal. And now he's on the block again. All right, we are in Quebec City to play the Nordiques. They are 25, 20, and 5. That's good for fourth in the conference. We are 2, 1, and 1 against the Nordiques this season. Jim Martinson in net for us. Michel Dion in net for the Nordiques. Go, waiters, go. A nice 8-3 victory on the road there at the Colise Quebec. That's this is inaccurate. That is, that's not what it was called back then. That was not the Sound Vidéotron in Quebec City. When I was a kid, it was the Colisée. That's what it was called. Translated in English means the Coliseum. Hartford outshot the Quebec 42-23 in that game. Peter Stashny was the first star of the game. He had a goal and three assists. <clears throat> Dave Poulin was the second star with two goals. And Tommy Samuelson was the third star with two assists. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Quebec over the, opened up the scoring in the first. Then Matty Agman scored on the power play from Bo Berglund and Peter Stashny. Then Quebec scored again. 2-1 Quebec after one. Then in the second period, Dave Poulin scored from Marion Stashny and Tommy Samuelson. Then Gordy Roberts scores, scored his 10th on the power play from Peter Stashny. And then Wilf Payment scored his 10th from Peter Stashny and Rob Ramage. 4-2 Hartford after 
two. Then in the third period, Brent Sutter scored from Tommy Samuelson and Gordy Roberts. It was 5-2. Quebec scored, and then we scored three more goals. Glenn Anderson from Russ Fitzpatrick and Jay Wells. Peter Stashney scored his 35th from Bo Berglund and Darren Veitch. And then Dave Poulain from Jay Wells and Randy Cunningworth. 8-3, the final score. Woo, that's a lot of stuff. Al Secret extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal and an assist against the Jets. Uh, Andre Saint Laurent is suspended in LA. He's going to miss three games. Larry Robinson has produced 500 assists in his career with an assist against Pittsburgh. Larry Robinson is 32 years old and he is a four and a half star defenseman. Mike Bullard has a memorable game in that same game. He had three goals and two assists. Clark Gillies has achieved 300 goals in his career. He had a goal and two assists against the Red Wings. Clark Gillies is 29 years old and he is a two and a half star player. Good game for John Anderson. He had a hat trick against the Capitals. Open ice leads to a productive night for Pat Boutet. Four assists in that same game. Dennis Marouk extends his point streak to 12 games. He had an assist in that same game. Uh, there was 12 straight games with an assist for him. Ken Morrow is on the verge of returning. That's good. Oh, and then the Jim Martinson is going to be an all-star as well as Peter Stashney. So it's about to be the all-star game. I'm going to go ahead and save. I, I'm starting to be nervous. <clears throat> All right, now we are back home and we're going to play the second of the back to back against the Nordiques. That is also the last game of January. Gilles Meloche is going to be in net for the Nordiques. Steve Weeks is going to be in net for us. Go, Waiters, go. Let's finish the month with another W. We lost 7 6. We outshot Quebec 35 to 32. Michel Goulet was the first star of the game. He had a hat trick. Peter Stashney was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Patrick Sundstrom was the third star with three assists. Uh, 10,514 people in attendance for the game. Nordic scored twice in the first period. Then Glenn Anderson scored from Dave Poole and Matty Agman. And then Darren Veitch from Rob Ramage and Peter Stashney. 2 2 after 1. We had a fight between Jay Wells and Phil Russell. <clears throat> Second period, uh, Nordic scored, took the lead. We tied again. Peter Stashny from Darren Veitch and Randy Cunningworth. Then Nordic scored three goals. It was 6-3 Quebec after two. <clears throat> we had a fight between Mark Messi and Kurt Brackenberry. Then in the third period, the Nordiques made it 7-3. Then we scored three goals. Russ Fitzpatrick scored on the power play from Bo Berglund and Matty Agman. Brett Hall scored his fifth on the power play from Randy Conneworth and Peter Stashny. And then Dave Poulain from Gordy Roberts and Glenn Anderson. And then we ran out of gas. We needed one more goal. We had 12 minutes, 21 seconds left to do that. And we just couldn't. <clears throat> All right, a memorable game for Michel Goulet. As we saw, he had a hat-trick. Denis Savard set everything up tonight. He had four assists against the Canucks. That was nine straight games with an assist for him. There was no stopping Rick Vive. He had a hat-trick against the Devils in that same game. And then Ken Morrow completely recovers. All right. Are advancing here all right so the all-star game was underway let's see here okay so the Campbell conference went one over the Wales conference two to one all right, don't care about that. And then there's been a big trade here between Montreal and the Edmonton Orders. Blaine Stockton 
who was traded to Edmonton, along with a fourth-round draft pick for Greg Stefan and Ross Courtnell. So Ross Courtnell finds his way to the Montreal Canadiens like he did in real life. That's interesting. That's a pretty big trade. I'm gonna sim one day here. All right, so the top setting Artford Waiters jerseys for January Wolf Payment, Mark Messi, Paul Coffey, Peter Stashny, and Darren Veitch. Development report. Oh, look at Paul Lawless getting a point of agility. That's good. That, that That's actually going to help you. All right, top setting jerseys for January. Wayne Gretzky sold the most. Markow was second. All right, so the players of the month were Wayne Gretzky and Rob Allen. All right, we're going to take a look at the standings. We are first in the conference, so we have 69 points in 50 games. All right, so as it stands right now, Buffalo would miss the playoffs, New Jersey, Pittsburgh would miss the playoffs, Chicago would would miss the playoffs, and the poor Kings won three games after firing their coach for the remainder of the month. They have eight wins in 52 games. <clears throat> That's not good. Take a look at our stats. Of course, we're missing Paul Coffey in there. Uh, Peter Stashny has really picked it up. Like I remember two months ago, I was looking at that and he was like five or six points like above like a point per game. Now he has 77 points in 50 games. Dave Poulin, 56 and 50. Mark Messi, 54 and 48. Agman, 51 and 50. Sutter, 46 and 49. And then it goes down from there. So we have a lot of point per game player, but the only really dominant player is Peter Stashny at this point. <clears throat> and in the entire league, Gretzky has 54 goals, Denis Savard has 67 assists, and Gretzky has 113 points on February 1st. Second place is Cicerelli with 97 points. Peter Stashny is fifth with 77 points. So Peter has picked it up and he's really doing good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. My voice is leaving me. I've, I've been outside all day with the big sun and everything and it's catching up to me. So I think I'm going to go and get me uh, some uh, snoozing going. Uh, but <clears throat> So that's it for today. We're still doing good. Hopefully we can win the cup without Paul Coffey because he ain't coming back this season. So I would like to thank you for tuning in, especially Kel for keeping me company as usual. Uh, thank you, sir. You have a good night yourself. And if you're catching this on YouTube later and you like the video, you know what to do. But for now, it's going to be ARG uh, going to bed. And peace out, folks. See you all later.